In this video, I want to talk about version control in Fabric because you can actually implement version control there either in Azure DevOps or using GitHub. And it's super easy. It's the one thing I get asked so much about, like, can we have version control? I want to see if someone has changed something. I want to see what was changed. Uh, just to get a little bit more control also, but also being able to revert stuff um, when something was implemented what didn't work that well. So is this possible in Fabric? Yes, it is. Um, and I will show you how to do that because I think it's the easiest way to see how it works. Uh, there are two uh, main settings that you can change, the workspace settings, and there are also some admin settings. I will show them both. And again, if you prefer reading this, uh, Reitze, he wrote an article about it. The link is in the description. Uh, he uses all kinds of screenshots, really good in detailed article. So also make sure to read that. So let's go into uh, Fabric. If I go to workspace and I go to the settings of this workspace, and I open this, I already see one of these uh, items is Git integration. And if I click on Git integration, I actually get two options, Azure DevOps or GitHub. Choose the one your company is using or your team feels most comfortable with. Uh, I will show you uh, how this works in Azure DevOps. GitHub, it works mainly the same way, same approach. Um, if I click on Azure DevOps, it asks me which account I want to log in with. So you need to make sure that the user that wants to commit uh, change or wants to uh, configure version control, they actually need to have some account there because, well, it's all linked, essentially. So if I connect, I need to choose the organization, the project, uh, Fabric Development in this case, and the repo fabric development and a branch and I will deploy to main don't do that if this would be real but this is a demo I can deploy to main normally of course you would have a different branch than the main branch git folder is optional and if I click on connect and sync now I see this git status and it says it's all synced we also see here at the top source control, it says zero. If we click on it, there's nothing that we could sync to our account. So now let's change something. I go into my real-time dashboard because that will be a really a quick fix. I click on edit. And for example, I add, um, I duplicate this tile just for this purpose, I click on save, I go back to my workspace. So we see here git status uncommitted, I see source control one, there's some changes. And now I write down a commit message and I would click on commit. And, and now I go to my repos and Azure DevOps, I refresh and I see I've submitted something there. And if I click on it, I can actually see, if I click on this JSON here, that something has been added. That's the green part here. If something's added, it's green. If it's uh, removed, it's red. And we see that actually a tile was added. And of course, these visuals and uh, this real-time dashboards and Power BI reports, if you have tried committing these changes, they're quite a little bit tricky to interpret, uh, but still you can have this version control in there. If you really write, code and you would change something in your code, it would also show. At the beginning, I said there are also some admin settings. Let's go there. If I go to settings and an admin portal I and search for Git here, I get everything that involves Git. And we have four options here. Uh, the first one is user can synchronize workspace items with their Git repository. It's enabled, disabled. You can uh, enable it for the whole organization, but also for specific security groups. Um, make sure, because if you enable this for everyone, everyone could synchronize with a Git repository. And I really say a Git repository because it can be any uh, that they have access to. So uh, make sure that not everyone can synchronize everything to everywhere in the world. Um, 
You can do that here. Uh, you can do users can export items to Git repository in other geographical locations. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. And we also have user can export workspace items with applied sensitivity labels to Git repository. So the export will still include these labels, yes or no. And then we have user can sync workspace items with GitHub repositories, uh, enabled, disabled. And that's just the option if it is possible to do that. So it can be um, disabled or enabled. Implementing this is quite easy because um, you just need an account and then you connect and if the repository is there and the user has access, these things can be easily synchronized. And I think this is quite a game changer for many companies because um, the seeing if changes have been made and by who is something I get at least asked a lot. Let me know what you think about this video and also make sure that you read Reitz's article.